and welcome to Regent Park, the past, the present, and the future. My name is Titi Lola, and I will be hosting this series. This show discusses the history of the Regent Park area. We will be sharing stories from lived experiences by former and present Regent Parkers. Join me as we learn about the old and new Regent Park. Do not miss it. Welcome to Regent Park, the past, the present, and the future. My name is Titi Lola, and I'm your host for today. The aim of this show is to discuss the changing nature of Regent Park. Here with me today is our wonderful guest, Mr. Neil Clerk. You're welcome to the thank, show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, so we would like to know more about you. So can you please tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, where to start? Um, I moved into Regent Park uh, in March of uh, 1989. That's uh, approximately 30 years, give or take. Um, moved in with my wife, uh, three children, a son who is now 43, a daughter who is, uh, no, he's 42, she's 33, mm -hmm. and the youngest son is uh, 29. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, eight grandchildren ranging in age between early 20s and a year and a half. Wow. Um, yeah, and I've, I've, I've been involved in Regent Park since, um, I think, 96. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. And how has that been? <laughs> it's it's, it's um, interesting. It's educational. It's frustrating. It's, it's uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll leave the description there, yeah. Right. So you've been involved with the area for about 17 years now. Um, from 1996, if my math is correct, uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. and you've had, you know, all those experiences. Can you share a bit about your experiences with us today? Okay, so I, I, I became involved because when, when, when we first moved in, I was like a lot of people who um, thought that they'd live in Regent Park for about two years, three years, and save mm. up some money and move out and, right. and get a big house and all the rest of that. Mm. Um, after living here for a while, I discovered that it was not as bad as, it, as people made it seem. Mm -hmm. And I also discovered that it's kind of hard to actually do that when every time you get a raise in pay, they raise your rent. So uh, it's not as easy to save up money and move out as, as it would seem. Mm -hmm. um, I got involved because uh, my youngest son was having trouble in school. And I went to talk to the, uh, the, the principal and, and uh, I guess the resource teacher. I, I'm not sure exactly what her title was, but uh, after some give and take and some back and forth, I got a phone call one morning uh, asking me if I wanted to be on the staffing committee at the school. And I just said, I have no idea what that is and I have to go to work in the afternoon anyway. And they said, no, it's the meeting in the morning and it'll be done in time and, and, mm -hmm. and we think you'd be really good. And, so, um, like a lot of people who get involved in one thing in, in these kinds of communities, as soon as you get involved with one thing, they call you for everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's, that's how I got involved. Well, I mean, it's really interesting to have been involved with the school board. Um, you know, what were the other memories, or the other experiences that came with that? Um, other experiences working or volunteering in a region? Yeah, both. Um, I, I, I really didn't, I, I volunteered in a region. I, I was uh, on the board at uh, an organization called Dixon Hall, which is just outside of right. Regent Park. But a lot of people from Regent Park use, use their services and, and the facilities. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on the board for six years. I was the chair for two. Um, I, I, once again, it, it was an interesting thing. There's not a whole lot that I'm really supposed to say because when you're on the board of directors of something, uh, it's, um, half the stuff is, is not supposed to be it's repeated. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. Good, thank you. Nice word. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Um, so, um, 
I would like to learn more about the history about Regent Park. So, what was the area like, you know, back then, from since the 1980s, you know, when you first moved in, and you know, how has it transitioned? Well, I, I, I guess it, it was um, a neighborhood like a lot of other neighborhoods. Um, um, it had its good points and its bad points. It had its uh, bad element. Mm -hmm. um, At, at one point, there there was uh, a fair amount of drug dealing going on and going on around here. Um, you couldn't walk up the street without being asked if you wanted to buy some kind of illegal drug. Mm. That's uh, since gone away, um, for the better. Mm. Uh, I I I'm not really the one for specifics. Mm -hmm. on, on, on things like this, so uh, I, I'm not sure I'm the person that should be here, but um, yeah. Okay, how was the community living like back then? Um, even though I volunteered for a lot of things, there, there, I, I did not have uh, a lot of people that I, that I uh, associated with right. here. I, when we moved in, we moved in and we were living right on the southern edge of Regent Park, so there was nothing on the other side. Right. Um, I spent a lot of time going to family's, fam family's place, which is outside of Regent Park, outside of downtown. We went to Scarborough and Markham and, and other places. Mm -hmm. So, um, once again, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a little short on actual experiences and, and memories as to what was and what was not here mm -hmm. at the time. Okay. Well. And, um, okay, I understand that you were not really, you know, you didn't really have associations with other members of the Regent Park area, but mm. um, to you, what did you think was great about living in the area? Oh, I, what, what I thought was great about living in the area was, was oh, even though it, it, even though the structure of Regent Park contributed to the the bad element, mm -hmm. one of the good things was that the kids were not in danger of getting run over by vehicles and all the rest. So you could send them out to play, and 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 you were fairly certain that that as long as they mind minded their P's and Q's, they would be coming home. Um, they would be coming home. Mm. Um, it, it was a great place to raise kids. Uh, there, there was always a bunch of children running around. Um, yeah, it, 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 uh, it, it was a good place to raise children. Right. Um, okay, I'm glad you mentioned that because I kind of like get the sense that, you know, the area was actually very family friendly, you know, and had a very healthy neighborhood um, feeling. Um, you know, I was going to ask you though, um, when you talk about the bad elements, you mentioned drug dealing, um, would you say it was a decent amount of the population that involved in such activities or how would you, how would you describe your feeling about that? Well, I think it was a very small part mm -hmm. of the population of Regent Park that, that was involved in such things. Mm -hmm. um, and tell the truth, a lot of times it was people who either used to live here or never did live here mm -hmm. that, that were involved in, in actually dealing the drugs. And, and then the people that were buying it were, were just uh, people from different areas of the city that felt that this was a place they could come and get right. what they wanted and, and get out. Um, so a, a lot of the bad reputation of Regent Park, and it's not just Regent Park, it's a lot of uh, TCHC housing right. communities, yes. yes. They get a bad name because of people who don't live there. Right. And, and people who just come in and associate every now and then are, are the ones that cause the trouble. Right. Hmm, that's interesting to know. And um, how would you compare um, what it was back then with now? Well, from what I know and what I've seen, and mind you, I'm not um, out as much as I was. Uh, a, a lot of a lot of 
my involvement with the community was because of my children and since they no longer live with us mm -hmm. uh, I am now once again back to uh, going out and doing whatever I want to do and coming back and, and, and uh, sleeping and eating and, and pretty, <laughs> pretty well minding my own business. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's the, the, the bad element is more hidden than it was. I suspect it's still there. I, I, I don't know if it's quite as bad as, as it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I seriously doubt that because at one time people were operating like it was uh, an, an everyday occurrence and it was like, like it was legal. And um, you had to be careful. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's better now. It's, it's uh, safer. There, there's, there, there are still people who do things that they should not be doing, yes. Right. Right. And, and I, I get that. I mean, these things happen in all the communities, right? Yes. So, um, yeah. And, and it's as quiet as, as, as it's kept, it happens in communities that are not Toronto exactly. Community Housing. It, it, yeah. it happens in some of the richest and the richest That's neighborhoods right. in, in That's the right. city. Yes. Um, is there anything that you miss about Old Reading Park? Well, I personally miss the buildings in the old Regent Park because mm. because we lived in a three bed bedroom townhouse and now I'm in a one bedroom apartment so I <laughs> I, I I miss the size of the place that we had right. um, and I, I miss the size of the places com compared to what they are now they're they're, they're smaller. Um, Right. Were there any activities uh, you would perform with your families, your family, that you were fond of, that you no longer? I mean, your kids are all grown up right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were there any things you used to do that, you know, you were fond of? Not, not inside Regent Park. I, 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 I mean, we went to right. um, Sunday in the Park every year, mm -hmm. and, and we went to the Cabbage Town Festival. But right. other than that, I can't say that. I, I did a lot inside Regent Park. Mm, right. Thank you so much for tuning in today to the Regent Park, the past, the present, and the future. Until next time, I remain your host, Tilola. See you.